Hey everyone, today we're going to be opening up this 20 year old box of Snickers, 2001. Norman Rockwell. Looks like it may have sold for $4.99 20 years ago. Limited edition, 2001. And we got a large bar skew. If it would have been about 10 years older, it would have been half the size. But they get bigger as they need more skews. That's a good sign. Multiple layers of protection from the elements. I bet these things are going to be fine and taste fine. Took a sniff inside the box. It's musty as expected. Things do get through this thing, even with the plastic on the outside, which wasn't completely airtight. But I don't smell chocolate that much, which is a good sign, because that means these bags are pretty tight. Let's get a look at this bag. Snickers Miniatures. Go ahead and open this up. Get a whiff of that. Now I can start to smell it. Can really smell the peanuts too. And they don't smell rancid. That's a good sign. Let's dump them out into the container. Pretty cool bag. Keep that bag with the box. They're still soft and malleable, which is a good sign. If you're wondering, why do I have that on my finger? Well, I was doing some wiring earlier, and I nicked my finger. As expected, they are lighter in color than they're supposed to be, as the chocolate oxidizes and turns white. Take a look at that, turning white. As expected... It smells pretty normal, but it's on the fringe of going rancid. You can definitely taste it going rancid. The longer it stays in my mouth, the worse tasting it gets. We're going to spit this out. This is getting nasty. These chocolate did not hold up to the years. I've tasted other chocolates that were fine. The chocolate's fine. It's the nuts that went rancid in this and destroyed the product. If you remember a while back, I opened up 1990s M&M packages. Despite having a lot of oxidization around the sugar in the chocolate... They tasted perfectly like fine, but then I opened a bag of peanut M&Ms, and the shell of the peanuts actually helped protect it from going rancid. Granted, 95% of the peanut M&Ms oxidized, expanding like rust on rebar. As it expanded, it broke the shells off, allowing oxygen to get inside and make the peanut go bad, but the 5% of peanut M&M's that did not oxidize enough to actually crack the shell. The peanuts stayed from going rancid and they tasted awesome. So somehow the M&M shell is a better protector of the elements than the plastic was. Hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching.
Hey, what's for dinner? The answer inside. Easy everyday cooking. Hey everyone. I came across this today. Caught my attention. It's in this really shiny paper. So, what is this? Is it going to be a cooking recipe inside? Or is it going to tell you what to make, what to buy? Three free recipe cards inside, so... Chances are it's going to be some random recipes that they want you to get the stuff to buy. Let's see, I've never seen anything like this. Found this inside of a wall in someone's house. Pretty cool. It was a foreclosed bank property that we're fixing up. This guy stashed all kinds of weird things in his walls. Or maybe his children dropped them in there. Yeah. What's for dinner? I'm betting this thing is old, so I doubt they'd honor this anymore. I'm trying to find some kind of date. Here's some recipe cards. No copyright year or anything. Chocolate Turtle Cheesecake. It's going to show you how to make it. That looks good. It's not what I expected it to be. I've never seen anything like this, so... This is looking like something that they just randomly sent out, probably to everyone's mailbox years ago. Trying to find, um, still no year on it. Still no year. What's cooking? Open the oven to see if you've got a winning recipe. I'm pretty sure we're past the date that you could redeem. For a minute I thought this was going to be one of those scratch and sniff things. You ever see the old magazines where you, have, you rip them open and they... Alright. That wasn't as interesting as I thought. And that's why I placed this at the end of another video. Hope this was interesting. Thanks for watching.